So the focus of today is duration. We're adding in distance, but we're really looking for duration and down. Instead of sits, we're looking for downs. So each time to go into a cone, counting to five. You have to trust yourself and drop the lead. It, go back. That's it. You're at the end. Go back. Say good. Give him a treat. Right. Remember the, the delivery of your treat's got to be low, because you gave it to him and it looks like your hands coming up, looking like you're trying to get him to go into a sit. So I know, but again, it wasn't him. It was you. It was the way you delivered the treat that made him break his down. So imagine you're bowling. Imagine you're bowling the treat to him, although you've actually given it to him. But if your hand's got to stay low, so just pop him back into the down. Down. That's it. Then, right, stand up straight. Then when you say good, give him the treat almost as if you're bowling a ball. So just say good now and give him a treat. Good. See? If your hand's low. But if you come to him with your hand raised, it almost looks like you're trying to get him to sit. Yeah. So that's, that's where you went wrong. Your distance, the fact he stayed there the whole time, you got to each cone, counted to five, and went back to him, it was perfect, okay? It was just your delivery right at the end of the tree that made him break his position. Right, done that? A million times? Yeah. Right, what are you gonna do now? All right, we're gonna start to make it a bit harder. Have you done it, everyone done it? Done it, done it, done it. Good, 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 good. Right, good is the main focus today. Right, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna walk to the first cone, you're gonna count to five. You're gonna return to your dog, you're gonna say good, you're gonna give him a treat. Then you're gonna walk to the second cone. This time you're gonna count to 10. You're gonna say, obviously once you count to 10, you're gonna say good, go back, give your dog a treat. Next cone, 15, 20, 30. Got it? The focus today is duration. Downs, adding in distance. So we touched upon this last week, how to get it. Obviously, you guys have been doing really, really good. That's it. Excellent. And you go down to the blue cone. And you count to ten. No, don't, don't, just don't get flustered. Excellent. What a difference in a German Shepherd in the space of a week. I know, I can see. That little bit we done at the end of last week, teaching you how to get distance, has freaking paid off. He's doing awesome. So again, be aware of rustling packets and things when you're moving back. Anything that could actually go against you. This time when you return to your dog, I want to hear that magic word. I want to hear you say yes once they've given you eye contact and releasing them from that position they're in. When I'm standing here? No, not when you're standing there. Back. Remember, you're in. The, this is only lesson four. If I start getting, yeah, all the dogs start running, you're going to make it a lot more difficult for the dogs than it needs to be. When you're next to your dog, like that.
The focus you're getting this week and everything, it's, like, it's, it's all coming together now. It's so, it gets distracted so easily. It's a pup. It's a pup. It's like a child. <laughs> Children switch off just like that. Right, well done.